Hey everyone, it's update time. I wanted to do this update to talk about the pros and cons of using a cover or burlap or shade. So I don't know if you've followed me, but it's been a few months now and I had a whole setup with burlap and it was a, a few layers and I had it all covered and I went through a lot of trials and with bugs, diseases because I, I planted too close, um, I had mildew problems, I had pollination issues because the bees were blocked out from the covering. So I just wanted to do this update. Two days ago, we decided to take the cover off, the burlap off, everything, all my hard work. We took it down. Uh, I was reading a lot of posts where people say they don't cover anything. They just water more often. So this is what we did. We were watering once a night and we had the burlap. I noticed that I was getting mildew and the bees weren't able to get in there. So I was having to do a lot of hand pollination. Um, there was no fresh air and they didn't get the UV that they needed so they were reaching so we took the cover off two days ago and we started watering twice a day and I lost a few plants way back my squash so I planted another one it's right here because I need a do-over when I started before I had no idea what I was doing so this is my do-over um, I got a few seeds that I'm trying out. I got a cherry tree. I have a banana seed too. Uh, I ordered. We'll see if they if they sprout. If so, I'm gonna put them out front on the east side and have them ready for winter so I can go ahead and plant them. But this is my pumpkin. I don't know if any of you followed me before on my other posts, but this pumpkin was not doing well. As you can see down here. This is what the pumpkin was looking like. I had to take a lot of leaves off. And now that I got everything together, I am pretty excited to show you guys what it's like when you don't have a burlap or a cover. They are growing. This guy was out in the sun all day today. And look, he's standing very tall. I water in the morning and the evening. And he has some flowers. I'm pretty excited. If I don't get a pumpkin, it's okay. Because I didn't expect this much at all. But I, I did figure out the bugs. I did figure out the nutrition. I did figure it all out. And now my last thing I had to figure out was cover. So this is a watermelon. Everything was stunted because I went through all of these issues and now we're coming back to life. I might not get a watermelon, but I'm still going just to see what's gonna happen, just so I can learn. It's my first year, so. Here's my cantaloupe. There's lots of vines on the cantaloupe. There's lots of flowers. I don't see a female yet, but when we do, we'll pollinate her. Then I'm going to bring you over here to my cucumbers, which are my prides, prides and joy. Now here, this is an example of what my plants look like. So this is from a foliar spray. And also I think from bugs, I'm not sure, I would think this was a bug, but it could be nutrient burn, but I'm uh, leading more towards bug disease. Um, I got control. I didn't want to take off too many leaves because I want to protect the cucumbers. But my new growth look. It's beautiful, right? If anyone has any advice for me, I am so open to hear. I got a little baby cucumber right here. In the morning, I'll have to probably pollinate that guy. These are all males. 
And that one has to has to flower. They have to flower before you pollinate them. If you type my name in the search bar, you'll see all my posts. And I actually have one on how to hand pollinate. So it's pretty interesting. I pollinated this guy this morning because his flower is open. So the female is the one that has the fruit. If you see a little fruit, they call it the embryo, then you know that's the female. The male flower is always just a flower. It's going to have a small stem, no embryo, and as you can see, there's a female right next to it. And she's going to open, and that male right next to her is supposed to be the one that gets her pregnant. So see that ant in there doing his job? Look. And then hopefully he comes back tomorrow and crawls inside this baby right here. But if not, I'll do the job. I have cucumbers everywhere. They're littles though. I'm afraid because of everything I went through that they might be stunted. So I might just get a couple of gherkins. But I do have a lot. I see tons of cucumbers everywhere. All over here. That one there, he's pollinated. And then we got a few under here. And then there's a couple under here that I didn't even know about. And their flowers are closed, so hopefully the ants did their job. Because with the burlap, it kept the bees out. This guy got pollinated. Because you see the flower is white. The flower turns white and falls off. And now, this is my giant sunflower, my favorite, and this little baby, he was a transplant, so he's not as tall. I find that it is better to sow directly into the ground and not move anything. When you transplant, it slows down the growth for at least a few days, and look at the difference. So... I like to just sow them right in the ground and let them grow without any disruptions. And here's my tomato cage. So since taking off the cover, I did leave a little on top, but the tomatoes are going through the worst time. It's tough on them. They're delicate. But I heard right now it's too hot to even grow tomatoes, to even flower. So we'll see what happens. I've been pruning these tomatoes and taking the suckers off. So the suckers are the things that grow in between the stems. And that slows down the growing process. So if you have a leaf growing out of your tomato right here, that's called a sucker. And it's going to slow it down from growing tall. It's going to focus on that branch. So I come out here. I take off the suckers, I take off the premature flowers, and I just let them vegetate so that the stalks are big and strong and they can hold tomatoes without falling over. We'll see what happens. I feel like they look good. The sun was a little harsh on them today, but look at this guy, he's so tall. These guys are plum tomatoes. Those are beefsteak. I took out all of my lettuce and herbs. I still have my green onions. They're a little small. See how small? And I think that's because of lack of UV ray. They should have been ready to harvest by now. And I have a little bit of garlic that I was growing inside. I planted. It seems to be doing okay. And then I planted some corn. I got one, two, three, four, five, six corns. And then I have a bunch of flowers. This is a, a tomato I had to transplant. And like I said before, look at the difference. Transplanted tomato, freshly sown tomato. See how big? Transplant small. It's no good. It's not a good idea. Just put them in the ground directly. 
There we go, all these flowers. I have a bunch of sunflowers here. So, two days without cover in the hottest, hottest time of the year. And I think my plants are thankful. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it helped you out. And updates coming soon.